Hi everyone, welcome to Healing Moments with Spirit. I'm Jackie. Today my guides asked me to come out to the water edge here in Alaska. I apologize for the noise of Seward Highway, but unfortunately being at the ocean, there's no way to get away from the highway out here. So hopefully it won't be too distracting. It's a great day. <laughs> um, there's an eagle flying. I'm not sure if it's in the camera view, but it's coming out across the water. I've seen three of them already out today. They're out fishing themselves. The sun is out, which is glorious. And it's, I think maybe even almost 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which most of you would be like, oh my God, it's cold, but it's warm here. So I'm taking advantage of it by being out here uh, at the ocean in the sunshine today, bringing in that vitamin D. And I, I'm gonna ask, just because I, um, the spirit that's with me today, they're like, so ask people if they can pick up on who I am. And those of you that are mediums, uh, if you're able to see, if you're Claire, uh, voyant, maybe Claire cognizant, even might even pick up on it. Um, uh, clear audience, people might be able to hear, um, who the spirit is, but, um, so yeah, I'm curious if you can tell without me saying who it is that's with me today and wanting to bring through some healing moments for you. This is one of my guides that came to me back in, I want to say 2018, and my clear sense of smell is how I know that um, he, it's a he, is here. I smell him first. And those of you that are connected to your Claire's are, are well aware that those are very interesting Claire abilities. When you can smell, when you can taste, and you're like looking around going, what the heck is that? You know, and where's it coming from? Because it makes no sense. Um, and yet you know that's what you're smelling or tasting. It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool anyway. So here I am today with, we'll see if you can pick up on who he is. I'll give you just another moment. Let's just breathe in. Let's just breathe in this beautiful, beautiful breeze that I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up this space so that you can feel this. So no matter where you are, knowing that the energy and the vibration of this amazing, majestic space in Alaska is able to resonate and come through quantumly out to you and imagine that this breeze is blowing across your face. Maybe the smell or the image of the spirit that's here bringing through their healing insights today. Something that you can pick up, what you can tell just by breathing in, breathing through, and breathing out. Good. So, the one that's with me is my my unicorn okay so he's a horse <laughs> and when he came to me in 2018 it was interesting because I had had my car in Seattle I put it on the barge to bring it up here to Alaska again and I got it off the barge and I'm driving around for like a week and all of a sudden I'm smelling horse and where I live we don't have horses <laughs> We have moose, but they don't smell like horses. 
and all I could smell was horse and I thought where could this be coming from and then it eventually was brought into my awareness that what I was picking up on was one of my guides and it um, yeah so it's him and I always really really enjoy these moments where I'm able to pick up on his energy because his energy is actually very fun it's festive it's actually light kind of breezy like this breeze that's coming through right now very similar to that there's always a lot of color around when he is here with me and there's a lot of um, usually what happens is he kind of takes me through color portals when he's around um, I'm gonna go ahead and just invite him into our space and ask him to channel whatever he would like to channel for us today in our in our healing moments um and uh sorry if there's like people that are like right nearby and they're talking and taking pictures so i wanted them to know like why i was uh, why i was like sitting <laughs> sitting here making a video so okay so I'm going to go ahead and open up the space for him now. He says, no matter where you are, you can imagine the elements of this earth to bring the healing that you need in any moment, whether there's a storm, a hurricane, a tornado, it doesn't matter. He says at any time, you can utilize the elements for their essence to come in and bring in the healing qualities and aspects that they hold. So he says, tap into the sun. The sun is a rejuvenator. It is what can help us repair after we have released the energies that held processing that needed to go back to love. He says it's the, the energy that helps to give us hope, to give us the confidence in order to start again or maybe to continue with what we're doing. He says use the element of the water to purify and cleanse the energies that are left over. He says the wind comes in and it shifts your perspective. No matter what might be coming through for you today, you always have the option to shift something, to shift your viewpoint and to choose to have a different perspective. He says it's very important right now because many people are experiencing how the elite of humanity is doing its, it's almost like I hear him say darndest, <laughs> its best in other words without hesitation to create 
machines that can dive deeper into the quantum fields, understanding quantum and ascension. You know, it's, it's tapping into the energetic and astral planes of understanding who we are and what we actually are not separated from. And in doing so, when machines like this are built and then utilized, he says, keep in mind that there will be testing, right? They will test with these equipments because the equipments are dense. They're made of human product and not just earth product, okay? And so what happens is when they're testing, there will be mistakes. There will be experiments that go wrong. And he says that when that happens, there's consequences for, unfortunately, everyone that is not already in the agenda of being protected from it. I don't, you know, I'm just going to say whatever that means. I think I know what that means, but anyway. So, um, so there is, uh, there is some testing that he says that's being done, that it is affecting the quantum, affecting magnetic, electromagnetic fields, the ley lines. And as these tests are being done and the experiments, when they fail, again, the kickback can cause humanity to have side effects. And he says those side effects can be unpleasant. They can be out of nowhere, out of the blue, and you don't understand why you're feeling it. He says, unfortunately, it brings about confusion, anger, disconnection, misunderstanding, self-sabotage, sorrow, grief, annoyance, intolerance, and an overall sense of disillusion. He says it's like you almost can't manifest what you want to manifest because there's something getting in the way and he says that has to do with the magnetics the electromagnetics being off and so when that happens in your because your body is electrical it's already got its own magnetics that's why like i'm out here today with my bare feet i am connected to gaia because i need to ground um you know, it explains a lot because the past few days I have picked up on such extreme self-sabotaging energies and there have been so many demonic energies coming in with that, which makes sense because those, the negative entities feed off of our lower vibrational emotions. And so they're coming in and he's like hot and heavy. They're coming in hot and heavy you guys and they are really utilizing your disconnection in motivation not being motivated not being confident in yourself they're utilizing and feeding off of that which is giving them power which just then makes us more confused it makes us feel even worse Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so that's why he's coming in today to bring through some healing, more neutral energy to help us calm um, because of what we're actually picking up on that's out of our control. He says there are those that feel in control, creating these experiences and unfortunately those that are not in control are the ones suffering yeah
No one ever said the ascension would be painless. The other video that I did a while back, it was maybe a month ago, about why is the ascension so painful. It, it's definitely, you know, those of us that choose, choose, chose, thank you, <laughs> that chose to be here during this time of the ascension, we're not weak souls. You may feel it, but you're not. You would not be here during this time if you weren't fully capable, armored up, protected, tooled, tooled up, <laughs> boots on the ground ready to handle this. And there are days, believe me, because I am right there with you, that I am so ready to say I'm done. <laughs> and especially when you've got a lot of the negativity coming in when you don't know where it's coming from or why it's there. And then you've got all of the negative entities and demons that are coming and feeding on top of it. You just feel like mm, that big, right? and you just wanna crawl under one of these rocks and hide. Boy, have I been there the past few days. I have felt it. Um, if there's some of you that, look at this, just like went um, darkness. Oh, you've gotta open back up to the light, you know? You've got to bring the light back in. I have no clue what just happened to the camera. That's so weird. Billy, what happened? <laughs> like, what is going on? But it could be that the phone is getting hot, even though it's only 60 degrees. So let's channel through some of his healing vibes today to help restore us, to rejuvenate us, to revive us from these things that we're feeling from these mechanical things that are implementing in the quantum field. So wherever you are, maybe just take a moment to just kind of sit up and rock a little bit side to side. Open up the chakras from the tailbone through the crown of the head by just maybe making a few circles. Loosen up the body. And then close your eyes and breathe with me. Breathing in through the nose and then out through your nose or mouth. I'm just going to let him channel this energy through. Breathing in and breathing through. So again, he's saying, use the elements of this earth. They are here. They are a part of you already. And all you have to do is choose to tap into them. The fire can cleanse and dissolve anything that no longer serves you. The water can purify the energy that's left over. The wind can change any perspectives that are negative, And the sun can refuel you. Breathing in and breathing through. And he's putting in a color wheel today. I use a color wheel when I'm doing healings for people. And this color wheel brings in the variety of colors and the aspects of the higher realms that we are not even aware of. Colors that we've never even seen before. And we bring these colors through to you in a rainbow flame. Breathing in. And breathing through. I thank my unicorn for coming in today to sharing these insights for this information. He says, please remember that you are not alone and that you are fully capable 
of bringing into your reality exactly the tools and the techniques that you need in order to get through every moment of every day. There's a lot of love for you on the other side that is right here and right now. So this week, take advantage of it, breathe it in, and breathe it through you. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye. All the eagles out here along the water. I don't know if you can see them, but those are all eagles out there. Okay, bye.